It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Broughton Brewery and this beer is described as smooth and malty. It is of course their Wee Jock 80 shilling beer coming in at 4.4% ABV in a dark brown bottle with a black bottle cap. Brewing beer since 1979 up there, in, up there in fantastic Scotland. Uh, I went to Edinburgh once, what a lovely place that was. Uh, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Uh, I was born in 1979. So, as I was seeing my first light of day, so was this brewery, I imagine. Be interested to find out about this brewery's journey, actually, uh, Broughton Brewery. They've been around now, 21, we make it 2000, plus another 23. They've been around for 44 years. 44 years. I, I'd like to see what kind of progress that uh, they've made over that time scale. I imagine the first couple of years was difficult, uh, brewing beer. Uh, establishing the brewery and then all of a sudden you've got enough money to buy another mash tun, uh, another fermenter, then maybe another fermenter and then the next thing you know uh, you can afford a company van and that sort of thing and the, the business, I imagine the business has grown slowly but it's grown kind of solidly and I imagine they're well established now, well established up there in Scotland. Uh, we got a one finger white head on this one, good levels of carbonation on the beer. Uh, it's a uh, amber coloured. I mean, in Wales, where I'm from, England, of course, um, they would be calling this a best bitter. And uh, my question to you, and I've seen this a lot on Scottish beer bottles, what is this chilling thing? What is this 80 shilling? Or, or it, it seems to be kind of like a style of beer. Um, I'd love to know. I'm sure someone's told me before, and I've forgotten. Uh, if I'm if I'm perfectly honest, but I'd love to know this whole shilling thing instead of calling it best bitter. Uh, it's not a bottle condition beer. There's no sediment in the bottom there of the glass. It's it's a little a little hazy. Uh, let's get the aroma on the beer then. Oh yeah, a little bit of toffee malt in this one. Toffee, kind of biscuity, bready. Hoppy, a little bit of a kind of a lighter, almost like a kind of lemony hop aroma. But it smells good, really good. Uh, carbonation levels in the beer, uh, medium kind of carbonation. It's just making its way to the top of the glass there. It's not kind of rushing along. Uh, but these camera glasses, they don't have widgets in the bottom. Uh, it just represents the beer in the glass as it should be. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's an interesting one, this one. Interesting, it's, it's leaning towards being, like I just reviewed a 4% Best Bitter. Good old boy from West Berkshire Brewery, Renegade, Renegade Brewery. And that had kind of like, literally just off the back of this review, I, I reviewed it five minutes ago. And that beer had much more of a kind of like a malty, creamy mouthfeel. This beer, in comparison, it's lighter. There's more toffee malt coming through. And I would say, rather than being thick and kind of like bready and malty, 
This is more leaning towards being a refreshing bitter. It's much more of a kind of refreshing amber ale. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. It's nice. It's, it, it's really nice. It's, it's kind of lovely and bready. Light, toffee, light wafer biscuit flavours coming through rather than big kind of like digestive biscuit flavours. But I like that toffee. I like that kind of slightly sweet kind of toffee malt flavour coming through. It's nice, that kind of sweetness over there. And then it goes over, it's not a massively bitter beer. It's not a hugely bitter beer. It's just enough bitterness just to offer a bit of balance to the beer. So I'd say it's probably leaning towards being slightly more sweet than it is, than it is bitter. It's more of a refresher. Like, it's almost leaning towards becoming like a hybrid lager style beer. It's definitely leaning towards that kind of very refreshing, but still wafer toffee malts coming through. Less hot than a Pilsner. But it, yeah, it, it's almost kind of like, I'm thinking more... I'm thinking more of this as some kind of like hybrid, light, refreshing, lager style ale rather than being just a big kind of thick best bitter. And maybe, maybe what that's what that kind of shilling business is all about. Maybe that's what this kind of 80 shilling means. It's like a, a lighter, more refreshing, being to work all day in Scotland heavy industry, maybe moving granite out of the ground or something up there in Scotland and you know you come across a couple of pints after work and you're thinking boy oh, you know I've worked that all blooming day let's let's get some of this in us. I was going to use a mining reference but um, I don't know I, I, I never hear of Scottish coal mines or I never hear of Scottish tin mines or anything like that it's more kind of I don't know that's why I mentioned granite Maybe there's some granite mining up there. Is there a mining industry in Scotland? I don't know. But that's definitely a kind of work hard all day, finish work, three pints in the pub, nice and refreshing, nice and drinkable, light ale style lager hybrid beer. Now, um, what do the breweries say about this beer? We Jock is an iconic session ale from Scotland's original craft brewery. Smooth and malty with a toffee nose and spicy aftertaste. We Jock is a beer to enjoy at home or with your mates. Crack open the banter with a cheeky We Jock slant. The malts are pale ale and crystal, roasted barley, and the hops are Fuggles, First Gold and Magnum. So a very traditional beer then, a very traditional kind of brewed beer based in Broughton in Scotland. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to um, finish up now by saying, I think, yes, that is... Oh no, we have one more. I was about to say, we've, uh, we've, we've nearly finished... All of these beers from Broughton but we have one more we have this Imperial Stout at 10.5% ABV so that'll be coming to the channel shortly but Broughton Brewery 80 shilling I like it I like it enough to give it a 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers